Hello everyone, my name is British Slugger 7 and welcome to another vlog. Today we're actually going to Church Castle. It's a twist actually. So I've just recently got some new lenses because um, my dad gave them to me because he no longer uses them and I'm going to be testing them out today so let me show you what lenses I've got. Alright so welcome to my bag of tricks. This is my 28mm uh, f2.8 as you can see here. As you can see there this is an adapter here by KNF Concept. Uh, this is PK to micro four thirds. If you don't know what that means, this lens here is a Pentax lens, and then this converts Pentax lenses into my uh, type of lens mount on my camera so I can use this. This is the big boy, the 80 to 200 f4.5 lens. And finally, my 50mm lens widest aperture lens and um, it says on here f1.9 as you can see it says f1.9 on there and I've got this like crystal filter on it I don't know if you can see like the lines on it that basically increases like lens flare so if I was to shine it at like a bright light it'd make the lens flare a lot stronger I'm on my 28mm still which is probably isn't a good idea I'm ho holding this out as far as it will go uh, I don't even I haven't focused it properly but uh, oh well uh, but enough about filters let's go shall we and film some uh, plants and castles and stuff and check out these how these new lenses perform all right we're off Now arrived at Church Castle. gardens I'm on my 28 mil that's why it's kind of close up we're walking through the gardens now <laughs> guys I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog I've enjoyed testing out my new lenses my new 28mm 50mm and my 80-200 uh, 
they are more for filmmaking rather than like vlogging and stuff like that which I completely understand and uh, if when I do do the film I will have to get like a, a balancing stabiliser what are they called steady cams that's what they're called do they use like the cameras like weight and then they like bounce the centre of gravity to get it right and stabilise it or whatever but when I do shots I am more likely to implement them into uh, these logs with these lenses like say if I was to take like a couple of nature videos I would use those lenses because it helped me practice and uh, mastering them for the film and knowing which one to choose at that moment if that makes sense so if I'm shooting a film I wouldn't need to know straight away which lens I'm going to use if that makes sense but anyway I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog and I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye!